Okay guys, um, okay, welcome to another YouTube VOD that I am attempting to produce, um, for those who don't know me already, I'm Dom, I run Poison TV, um, I, I'm really rubbish at these YouTube intros, so anyway, um, I have another great replay, it is of none other than HTO Mario, who was actually recently featured on Day 9, so, um, if you're interested in something other than his TVZ style, um, gonna show you some TVP, uh, shenanigans, um, that he has been doing lately. Um, I've been, I've seen quite a few of his TVP styles, and yeah, they're really cool. I, I sometimes I don't understand kind of the, the why he does it, but I, nonetheless I can show you what he does. Um, and uh, th these games would be very very cool. So um, again, if if you enjoy them, click the subscribe button. Um, we've got lots and lots of these videos coming up. So um, anyway, going to be kicking off the game, and of course, introducing our first two players. It is. This Korean guy, who I actually don't know who is, which is really bad of me, but um, I'm presuming this is from uh, Ladder Mario, just like the Ladder on Korea. But uh, yeah, so we have our red Korean Protoss. And of course, over here, in the top left hand corner, we have Love Your Girlfriend's HDO Mario. And uh, yeah, do Google Mario. Um, he is a fantastic player. Um, really, really kind of. That's the best word to describe it. Innovative, I think, is the word. Um, so, uh, yeah, and uh, looking at this, um, our Korean friend looks like he does kind of a... Uh, this is what Mario is like, um, or at least he likes to play safe on this map, because we have a pylon coming down here behind the gas geezer, forming off a nice little wall. Um, so just a small minor variation, and of course uh, Mario has gone for the supply depot at the top of his ramp which will give him a nice kind of position um, and also guys uh, when you're watching this if, if you like the Observer UI then please do let me know um, I'm going to be changing it for Game Heart soon um, I've mentioned it on a couple of other VODs that we've done recently so uh, yeah of course uh, uh, yeah let me know anyhow um, yeah so we have a kind of a gasless FE right now but so far from Mario no there's only any gas and from our Korean friend He's really, really walling off hard because they've got pylon gas and then gateway, so it's really, really tight kind of choke um, he's forming here. Oh, at least nothing's going to be able to get in from the bottom. Uh, plus, alternatively, it does stop you getting away, which is something I learned in the uh, Wings of Liberty days when you have, you know, everyone was going blue flame, like you had blue flame drops. And if you actually d stop the route of your SCVs or pros or whatever, what actually ended up happening is they could naturally tunnel and you could end up losing every single one of your workers but um, that isn't the case as we see here just yet and uh, we do have a 15 gas coming down from Mario and out of this we do have a marine so um, there we go there's all our tabs and the marines are going to sit at the top of the ramp more marines being produced, so many scores coming down not the double 15 gas um, but again just completely an Utterly um, walling off his back. I think he's really scared of a helium run by well. Is he trying to like super contain his tech? I don't know. I, 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 to me, this just looks like he wants to stop him some sort of like helium run by. Um, I suppose if units get in the back as well, you can't really get it with melee units and thing. If I can drop this to get in, it can actually be really annoying. I suppose it stops him chasing your units. Um, anyhow, sec gas is going to come down after the Nexus and Mario is going to go off and scout. Um, we did see a cross position, kind of diagonal scouting pattern from the Protoss. And anyway, look at this. We have a factory and a reactor coming down from Mario. And there you go, there's the expansion double marine as well at the front. So um, it's going to be a shoo away any pesky kind of probes, not necessarily a stalker. But, and he's also looking like he wants to take this watchtower as well. And, uh, bunker coming down as well where's the bunker oh my goodness me there's the bunker right in the natural of our Korean friend so this gets out you know won't necessarily kill the Protoss but it'll be an annoyance and uh we see the forge coming down here from our yeah this is a very early forge so you can have to get either plus one armor probably most likely a plus one armor and actually it's going to be a real nuisance because can he spot it no he hasn't so here we go, and now he realises what's going on as the uh, Nexus is on finishing, and uh, yeah, this this is going to be a real problem. We've got two SEVs with it, two more Marines on the way, 
Um, just slowly but surely, he's going to be chipping away at this nexus, and he can, of course, carry on just uh, mining and macroing and setting himself into a fantastic position. We have a couple of Hellions as well joining the fray as well. Um, there we go, now three uh, Marines in the bunker. He's focusing down the SUVs, and now, I mean, the next cannon will, of course, kill off this bunker. But of course, he can evacuate, salvage it. Yeah, there we go, he is going to go for the storage. Trying to focus down a still for there. Some nice micro from our red Korean friend. And uh, we have, of course, Mario just scouting around with these two Hellions. I like the fact that he just built two Hellions and uh, he's, we're just using them to scout right now. Um, and I'm saying that he builds two more. So, uh, whoopsie doodle there. But uh, yeah, he's going to clear out these watchtowers, stop any kind of further vision. Um, that was a nice little maneuver. I mean,. I think he did stop producing workers for the time being, um, but I say it was just more of an annoyance and he got rid of the phone overcharge. He didn't actually manage to do any damage on the Nexus, but did grind its shields on down, so that will be restored eventually. And let's have a look, here we go, we have plus one armour as I thought we would. And a very early twilight cancel, so a very kind of tech greedy build here. We have Stilfus on the front, but oh my goodness, we have a huge probe transfer and he lost an absolute ton. Of probes there because it's in these two stalkers, he's only powering up one gate right now. If Twilight Council followed by armor as well, they got tons and tons of damage here. Mario killing a huge amount of workers 12 workers killed, so that definitely put Mario back in the stead. He has a third behind this as well, and just yeah, small decisions that were like put him into the front here. Now we have a yeah, tech lab coming down. And we have a starport. Yes, we do have a starport coming down as well. So possibly Banshee play coming out using that barracks to add on all the additional tech lab reactors and so on. Um, but yeah, this uh, I would like to see what the process was going here. Plus one armor is about to finish, of course. Um, we do have a twilight cancel. So very very fast twilight cancel. I mean, all of one gate here. This is extremely risque from any form of pressure, and we saw exactly why. Cause Mario got in with those Hellions because there wasn't that much. I mean, there's a few Stalkers in the Mothership Corps, but he just could avoid them, basically. Um, and got in and barbecued a whole ton of units. Now we have two more Hellions trying to poke them in. This wall very, very tight. And I can now begin to understand why he has got these uh, buildings everywhere. I mean, the building placement is actually fantastic. The Robo even being used to form part of the wall. Mario using his Hellions now just to scout again find any sneaky expansions, he's not taking any risk whatsoever. He also have a turret coming down, I think he you know, thinks there might be DTs on the way, especially with the Temple Archives, probably not a bad decision there. Um, turret's actually going everywhere, and yet the third is going to be going down as well. Um, Mario lifting off the, interesting, he lifted off the factory there. Um, yeah, he's using it for the add-on, so fourth coming down as well. Let's see, it's a lot from Mario. He goes for a very, very fast fourth, sometimes even double expanding, um, building an orbital and using the fourth as a um, planetary fortress um, in the third, if that makes sense. Um, anyway, Protoss friend, we have a look at the macro. Uh, he's doing an alright job to catch up, but there's no other way, of, no other way to go describe it. He is currently behind, and Mario is now going into Banshee Hellion. He's got Blue Flame. Um, what else is he doing with this? Let's have a look. Blue Flame, no sign of any tanks right now, so perhaps help out. Actually, I didn't spot this. Three Starports with a lot of Banshees on the way. So, um, yeah, wow. Well, even possibly for Ravens, which are super, super effective against Protoss when used and controlled well. In fact, they're good against everything when controlled well, but I do like the good Raven usage because, um, it's exciting to watch and uh, extremely effective and something that I feel really underused currently in Heart of the Swarm but most likely it will come as uh, people kind of get to grips with it. Anyhow, let's have a look, we have more gateways coming down and definitely no sign of any third, so it definitely like he's gearing up for a big two base push right now. Um, Hellions in the third, Mario's got to smell that there's something wrong right now. He drops a scan and sees exactly what's going on, he sees the Immortals as well. And uh, are we going to see a little push out from our Brotoss friend? Doesn't look like he's just hanging around the third right now. Um, still no sign of any, just ravens, hellbats right now. And of course, banshees. Um, 
SEVs are coming on down to mine at the third. And what's this? We have a forward pylon coming down from our Protoss. So, supposed to be looking to deny that third. Um, I don't know if he can outright kill Mario right now. There's an observer as well. He can see pretty much everything. He's got Storm as well. Because this push wasn't as anywhere near as powerful as it probably should have been because he lost that considerable amount of workers. It's a have a look. It's only 13 he lost. And 71 to 48. So Mario's economy is absolutely huge. We see the fourth going down as well. He's just, uh, well, he's building buildings everywhere. Planetaries everywhere. Well, command centers everywhere. Um, Army is finishing up. Anyway, here we go. Blinks. Uh, well, the Blinks talking. We do have units coming on in. And uh, no, doesn't look like Blink is research. Pope is going to go on down with either mortals. Does he have an observer? He does have an observer. Big storms going down on all of that right now. Oh my goodness me, that's a huge amount of army. But those uh, Seeker missiles didn't do much too much either. No sign of any tanks either. Three more Banshees are on the way because he has a temp up with the feedback. So he can do a lot of damage. Here comes the blue flame. Anyway, Banshees to the rescue. Auto turrets. Do we have any PDD in the next? No, not quite. Anyway, SCVs are trying to repair everything. But Banshees doing tons and tons of damage. There we go. Nice feedback coming down on those Banshees. Is the Observer still alive? Yes, it is. So Mario is forced to withdraw back for a moment. He is repairing like crazy with his huge SCV right count right now. Planetary Force is coming down on that third as well. Um, and Protoss looks like he's still gearing, still wants to kind of push in and try and do some more damage. He's going to focus down that third. Will he get it? No, it slides by the skill of his teeth. Mario coming down to defend for one more time. Again, just relying on pure Hellion Banshee. Hellion Banshee and Raven right now. Very interesting mix. Got some zealots for the Protoss, but of course they're going to be nullified by this huge amount of blue flame right now. Again, nice feedback coming down. The last feedback does go down for the Banshee. And now Banshees have free reign. And there's so many Banshees here right now. Banshee Hellion, wow. An absolutely crazy style for Mario, but um, again, working oh so well and uh, leaves this push up with relative ease. And now we have well, essentially four base to the two base. I mean, he even has that uh, extra orbital, and there's the GG, and that is the game. So, guys, if you enjoyed that, please do click the subscribe button. I'm Dom, Poison TV. Um, I am getting better at these conclusions and introductions, so you have to, you'll kind of see a natural evolution as they flow along, but um, yes, uh, more more videos will be coming soon, um, and of course you can check all our content at http www.twitch.tv for touchpointtv, bye for now.